everyone welcome or welcome back today i am sharing the eight books from my tbr that feature werewolves <coughs> top of my list is night bitch by rachel yoda so this is a debut novel for the author it follows a mum who is living a very um underwhelming life her husband is constantly traveling for work she has a toddler who is extremely demanding and one day when she steps into the bathroom she finds a patch of fur on the back of her neck thus starts a very strange series of events her canines start growing sharper and longer her voice starts changing and she notices that she starts having dog-like impulses Trying to keep this change a secret, she winds up at a library searching for a explanation slash a cure and she ends up being pulled into a group of other mothers who are not what they seem. For some extremely strange reason, I've yet to read anything by Rachel Harrison even though I know I'm going to love whatever I read. Such sharp teeth follows a young woman who has to return back to her hometown which is full of secrets she has deliberately tried to ignore slash forget. She bumps into an old flame and then one day when she is driving home in the dark she hits a large dog. She is attacked and suddenly she finds herself changing. This is a darkly comedic love story and I just know I'm going to thoroughly enjoy it. Next on my list is one that surprised me because nothing about it screamed werewolf but it did come up on a few lists so you'll have to let me know in the comments if it is or is not a book that involves a werewolf. Um, so this is The Wren in the Holly Library by K.A. Lind and this is the first in the Oak and Holly cycle. This follows Kiersey who is a very skilled thief. 13 years after monsters emerge from the darkness, she lives in New York in a post-apocalyptic ruin of New York. One night she is tasked with breaking into the Holly Library and retrieving an item. It is there that she meets the monster and unfortunately ends up in a bargain which could be the ruin of her. Bride by Ali Hazelwood follows a century long dangerous alliance between a vampire clan and a werewolf pack. In Bride we follow a vampire bride and an alpha werewolf as they are forced to marriage to maintain the peace treaty. However the marriage proves to be both dangerous and unpredictable as both members have their own secrets. If Stephen Graham Jones has written it, I will read it. In Mongrels we follow a young boy who is on the cusp of manhood. His aunt and uncle that have raised him are Mongrels by blood. And it is unknown whether the boy will follow in their footsteps or step over to the other side of the tracks. All they know is that they've spent 10 years on the run and after lots of narrow escapes, things are about to change. An exhilarating reinvention of the gothic novel Hemlock Grove by Brian McGreevy follows a vampire and a werewolf in a very unlikely of friendships. This is a TV show that I simply adore and I not long ago found out that it was based on a book so of course this book jumped straight onto my TBR. This book is set in the small town of Hemlock Grove and we follow a shocked community after a young girl's body is found mangled and murdered in the woods. Suspects are rife across Hemlock Grove and in this dark gothic um murder mystery of a book we are about to find out that monsters lie everywhere alpha of mortal flesh is the third book in a standalone series of the dark morn universe by ben alderson so this is a series of um queer fairy tale retellings and Alpha of Mortal Flesh follows a spicy reimagining of Little Red Riding Hood. Not much more needs to be said. And finally on my list is the novella Shadows and Light by C.M. Nuscosta. 
So this is set in the Cambric Creek After Dark first series, which is a spin-off from the Cambric Creek series, which I'm a big, big fan of. So this follows Jude, who is a never-turned-werewolf. She is trapped in a um, pack that doesn't want her and doesn't respect her. She is kept alone and away from the rest of the pack with a bodyguard employed by her fiancé called Lex. Her and Lex grow closer and when an opportunity for escape happens, well, so they are eight of the books on my TBR that feature werewolves. Have you read any of these? Are there any you would recommend or any I should add to my list? Please let me know in the comments. Um, I would really appreciate it if you would consider like, subscribing and doing all the good stuff. I'm hoping to upload a lot more. You can also find me on Instagram and TikTok. I would love you to come say hi wherever you prefer to do your social metering. And yeah, I will see you next time. Bye, friends.